cyclic vomiting was her body's metaphoric expression for not being able to stomach what had happened. Hi, I'm Cindy Shoemaker. I help people struggling with grief unpack and manage all of their emotions with ease and grace. Now, it's not uncommon for people to become physically sick after the death of a loved one, especially if it was a tragic and unexpected event. Now, I had this client, her name was Jerry. She unexpectedly lost her husband. There were no signs, no warnings. It just happened so fast. They were at home and they had just had this nice meal together. They were relaxing and getting ready to watch a movie. And he mentioned to her, he said, you know, I'm just not feeling good and, and I, I think I need to go lie down. So as he was making his way back to the bedroom to lay down, Jerry followed him just to make sure that he was okay. Without warning, he stumbled and he fell, partially trapping her underneath his body. He wasn't moving and she instinctively knew what was happening. He was a big man and she felt his weight crushing her and she knew she had to call 911. She could feel her legs quickly changing from being tingly to going numb and then her heart started racing. From sheer adrenaline, she managed to wiggle herself free and crawled as quickly as she could to her phone. She dialed 911, begging them to get there quickly. She went back to the bedroom and the color on her husband's face was not normal and she knew this wasn't good. It seemed like it took the squad forever to get there. They finally arrived and they started life-saving measures and transported him to the hospital where he was pronounced dead shortly after arrival. And Jerry's life changed forever that night. The days and the weeks that followed were emotionally and excruciatingly painful. The sudden loss, the unspoken words, she never got to say goodbye. Everything she saw and heard that evening played like this never ending movie in her mind, watching him fall, hearing his body hit the floor, feeling the weight of his body on top of hers, seeing the blood on his face where he had hit his head during the fall, his grayish looking complexion, the sirens, the CPR in progress. It was just all too much for her. Jerry worked in healthcare and she had to return to work after her allowed or allotted bereavement time. Yet she just was not functioning. And for anybody that's been through any sort of situation like this, I'm sure you can relate to what she was feeling. She wasn't sleeping and she started having episodes of cyclic vomiting and uncontrolled shaking. She would experience waves of nausea followed by vomiting several times a day. And she made numerous trips to the ER feeling like she herself wasn't going to make it. Grief showed up in her body. She was not able to process everything that had happened and then had to return to work and take care of her, her pets and her family at the same time. She was overwhelmed and many times she would say, I just feel like I can't breathe. Cyclic vomiting was her body's metaphoric expression for not being able to stomach what had happened. For others, grief can show up as joint pain, inflammation, digestive problems. It can lead to cardiovascular issues and prolonged grief can show up as anxiety, panic attacks, and depression. Unpacked grief wears away at you emotionally and physically. And luckily, Jerry did seek help right away, and together we were able to work on that memory. Everything she saw that night, everything she heard, her last fleeting thoughts slowly started to fade away. And she could, re she could remember those, but they just didn't have that same emotional punch in the gut. Her vomiting subsided, and her shaking slowly disappeared. She was able to finally go to work and function with clarity again. She was able to show up for her family and take care of her pets. And she eased back into life on her terms and in her own way. She was able to remember her husband in a good way. All the loving memories she'd had with him, all those happy moments she was finally able 
to reconnect with those thoughts. Before that, all she could remember was that fateful night that he'd passed away. Not everyone is as fortunate as Jerry because they don't seek help when they really need it. Ruminating and replaying the last few days, hours, or minutes of your loved one's life will take a toll on your mind and your body. It's not a good way to honor their memory and all the good that they brought to your life. And you will eventually suffer both physically and mentally. If you're struggling, and you feel like you need help unpacking everything, please reach out because you don't have to do this alone. You are 100% responsible for your life. Nobody is going to save you. You have to save yourself. So please learn to master your emotions so they don't master you because what's at stake if you don't? All right, everybody, go make it a good day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.